Worried that your workouts might be feeding your prostate cancer? Let's separate fact from fear. It is true that intense exercises like lifting weights or doing some sort of like interval exercise like sprinting do increase testosterone for a few hours after the exercise. Now, this raises a valid question. For men not receiving any hormone therapy, so just active surveillance or watchful waiting, as they say it, could these temporary increases in testosterone actually fuel the growth of prostate cancer? Now, I know it might sound crazy. How can exercise actually fuel cancer growth? That doesn't make sense. However, the body is a very complex machine. We are trillions of cells interacting with each other, releasing and uptaking hormones, neurotransmitters, peptides, all kinds of molecules interacting with each other. And when you have cancer, things can actually change. The cancer can use some of our natural body mechanisms to actually fuel its growth. So in my field, in my practice basically there's no that doesn't make sense or that's crazy it's okay i examine everything down to its core and at this stage i want to educate you and challenge this long-held belief that testosterone equals prostate cancer well actually higher levels of testosterone linearly associate with prostate cancer growth that's not the case um the prostate cancer needs a certain level of testosterone to grow. But after that point, which is called a saturation point, and I've put the link in the description if you want to check it, after that certain point, it doesn't grow faster. It actually has been shown on men with prostate cancer that if you administer, if you give them testosterone replacement therapy, so you give them testosterone, it doesn't actually grow their prostate cancer faster. And actually new evidence show that giving testosterone to men with prostate cancer might actually slow down prostate cancer growth. How crazy is that? So I wanted to say that there is not a linear relationship. Testosterone needs a certain level of testosterone to grow. More than that, will not make the prostate cancer grow faster. At this point, I want to invite you to share with a comment to other men watching this video just like you. What have they told you about testosterone and prostate cancer, your doctors or other people? And have you changed your opinion after you heard what I just said? In a previous video, I was talking about if exercise during ADT can increase testosterone past the point that ADT, the hormone therapy, can suppress it. So when your oncologist wants you to suppress your testosterone for prostate cancer, will doing exercise actually surpass that suppressive effect? And the answer is no. It cannot suppress, it, it cannot surpass, ADT is very powerful, okay? Um, actually, what gets released is growth hormone, which you need for healthy connective tissues and your bones, which is great. Now, talking about active surveillance. So when you're not having any testosterone suppression, is the spikes of testosterone safe for prostate cancer? Definitely. Definitely. You can exercise as much as it's safely for you to do and it's you want to, basically. And you can do high intensity exercise, which is really, really important to basically create that anti-tumor environment in the body. We have overwhelming scientific evidence that exercise, when you do it a few hours afterwards and also chronically, it changes your body in a way that reduces the growth of prostate cancer, reduces the chance of the prostate cancer metastasizing and if it has already metastasized it reduces the growth of metastasis and that's the work that i do with a man that coach one to one more info on my website in fact did you know that yes your body releases testosterone for a few hours after you do a high intensity session 
like lifting weights or doing interval type of exercise. At the same time, the androgen receptors on your muscles, so the receptors that take up the testosterone, also increase in the muscle. So we could say that not only it is safe to do exercise and it doesn't fuel prostate cancer growth, but what, could, what would happen is actually the testosterone that is released is taken up by your muscles. So fueling your muscle growth, your strength, the integrity of your ligaments, your tendons, your joints. If you are on active surveillance for prostate cancer, you're not receiving any active treatments and you're just watching your PSA, you should cons consider your lifestyle as your primary treatment for prostate cancer. It plays a massive, massive role on how this disease is gonna progress. If you found this video helpful and you click the like button, it's gonna help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. And again, if you're looking someone to guide you on using your nutrition, your daily lifestyle as a medicine, not only to beat prostate cancer and increase the effectiveness of your treatments, but also reduce the side effects from those treatments, and get you leaner, fitter, with more energy, more power, both physically and mentally, please send me a message by visiting my website in the description. That's it for this video, gentlemen. I hope you're well. Keep fighting, and I'll see you in the next video.